Hey guys, Death Prodigy 125, and I am here with the Amp Energy Racing League. I'm here with the fifth race of the year at Darlington Motor Speedway. Today's pole sitter is Sean Rodney. Starting second is Timmy Art Gaming. Third is Connor Brenton. Fourth is Hogan. Fifth is going to be Joseph Lombard. Sixth is going to be Colin Cropwood. Seventh is going to be uh, Christopher Harley. Eighth is going to be Javier Ventimiglia. Ninth is going to be uh, is is going to be Marcus Gross, and tenth is going to be Trent Dunham. As we go to the line, Sean Rodney is going to take us to the green flag. His green flag is out. Here we go as we go into turn number one. Timmy Art Gaming is going to hold the lead. You would see the battles beyond there. Timmy Air Gaming, he is our leader. Sean Rodney, he is in second. Trent Dunham, I mean, sorry, he's not Trent Dunham. Colin Cro uh, sorry, Connor Brenton. I don't know why he got Co uh, Colin Cropley there, because Colin Cropley's in the 36. He will, he'll be in third. So right now, the positions are as what they qualify, except Timmy Air Gaming is the leader. And Sean Rodney switching. There's Connor Brenton, Hogan, Joseph Lombard, Cropley. There's Trent Dunham moving up a lot of positions. You can see through the field. See the battles for position. You look at the 83 and really Sean Rodney also, who's in second place. They've been a pretty accurate. Oh, it's the 11 car, Chris Otero. He's going to go to pit road. Anyways. So you look at the 93 of Christopher Harley and also the 7 here. 7 hasn't had some good weeks. I mean, they've had decent weeks in Timmy Air Gaming's crew, but they haven't had amazing weeks. So you're going to be expecting, hopefully, a good race out of them today. Sean Rodney has been one of the most consistent drivers in the Sam Energy Racing League as he is averaging over a top 10 finish right now. He is in second. Hogan... See these guys here. In fact, see the 27 is dropped all the way to. Well, last time he was 13th. He's dropped out of the top 10, though. Let's see where he is this lap. 17th. Started third. This is the lead. Uh, this is the leader, though. As. Tamir Gaming is going to take us in the three because we're going to see what Sean Rodney in the 93 is looking at right now behind Tamir Gaming. That was, by the way, Sean Rodney's fastest lap. As Rodney's running faster laps constantly. So, as you can see, oh yeah, he's definitely on the bumper now. He's going to start closing this lead down, maybe take the chance at the lead. As it's actually a four-car battle. See, anyone make the move? No. It's just going to stay one, two, three, four. So, Timmy Eric Gaming, now he's starting to pull away. Sean Rodney, Hogan, Lombard, all battling. And then behind them is Colin Cropley. He's now the fifth car added to the pack. Christopher Harley, Trent Dunham, Jason Glazier, Arctic Inferno, Marcus Gross. Oh my god, I hit a jet dryer. Javier Vintamilla, John Smith, Bob DePillo, oh, Bush Van, Dan Williamson, AJ Otero, Brad Siegel, Garrett Smith, Timmy Moore. You have 2014, Death Prodigy, Dawson. Look through the field. And look, this 27 continues to drop. They're having a humongous problem. They're in 26th right now. This has not been a good day. They've started third on the starting grid. Now back in 26th. They got to do a lot of catching. The rest of the field. That car is the only car that should be a lap down. Had some issues early on. Point out, he also has one of the fastest laps of the day. 
But here they go out of four. By the way, our new leader is Sean Rodney. As they caught the seven, look at the seven drops the fourth. So Rodney, he's our leader. Joseph Lombard, he's in second. And now Lombard looking low. Gonna back off. To get in the draft. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six in the mix. And Lombard to the bottom. Can he stick it though? Lombard's gonna go to the lead. Joseph Lombard takes his first lead of the season. Off of that pass right there. Lombard hasn't had an amazing season either. He's been getting to a lot of wrecks. But he's going to lead. Colin Cropley sits there behind him. Colin Cropley's been having a decent year. So, wouldn't be surprised if Cropley's going to try to get up to the lead soon. Because he wants to get a lot of points. As, by the way, we are on lap 9 of 15 as we go down in the backstretch. As we look through the field again. Christopher Harley... Again, though, the biggest loser as of right now is what I'm seeing on the track. It's definitely this 27 car. He's dropped to 29th. Remember, he started third. I'm looking at, I think he has damage. If you look at the right side, the tire, I think he has some damage. Maybe that's, could have a tire rub or something. I mean, not usually do I see that, especially, but it, it's what it kind of looks like. He's dropped to 31st now. See, that looks like he has some damage on the side of his car. I, I, I'm not sure, though, if that's just the kind of view we're getting. But you may want to check that out because I want to see the view of uh, Casey Kane, what he's seeing. Oh, it's Brenton's actually in the wall. I think that's what he's, he's hitting the wall a lot. Because here the tires kind of look fine. He's just hitting the wall and Brenton looks a little bit loose. That's Brenton again though. Like I said though, he's, he had a top 10 finish last week. Now he's having some trouble. Can't seem to get a top 10. He had a career best in this league starting position. Started third this week. It's just unfortunate when you get such a good qualifying position, can't finish. That's Eric O'Connor, by the way. He hasn't had a good season either. Alex Smith, he's actually a winner in this league. He's in 33rd. Another winner, our Daytona 500 winner, as a matter of fact, Zabo, he's in 39th. Another winner also, Dawson, he's in, not, he's in 41st. So our winners this year are not looking good, but back up to the lead as we get to about four to go. Yeah, four to go. I mean, three to go, sorry. Um, as Lombard <coughs> is crossing, I mean, down the backstretch, looks like Jason Glazier... He's going to rip, uh, take the lead. No, Lombard's going to defend, but he's going to get in the wall. And that's not going to be good for Lombard. Because not only is he going to get loose, but now he's going to lose so much time on Glazier. And with two to go, I think Lombard just cost himself. As here they go, in the two, out of two... Jason Glazier, all he needs is one more turn. I mean, to, yeah, one more turn after turn three to make it to the final lap. This is the field right now. Glazier is going to take it out of turn four. We're going to get back to him in a second. As there's Glazier out of four, down the stretch, final lap. Please, your kid screw up if he wants to win. Final lap. Here they go. Out of two. Looks like Glazier has this one done. He's been doing a good job all week long keeping this car clean. And Jason Glazier is going to be your winner of 
the Dodge Chrysler 400 here at Darlington. Coming in second is going to be Joseph Lombard. Picks up his first top five of the year. Colin Cropley, Timmy Air Gaming, Sean Rodney, another excellent finish for him. Hogan, and Arctic Inferno. Oh my god, I hit a jet dryer of Marcus Gross. And uh, Kyle Bush fan rounds out the top ten. So now as we look in your official end of the race standings. As you can see, our big loser in the 20, uh, 27 car did not even make the top 28. Uh, Connor Brenton started third, ended 41st. Wow. That's, and that's unfortunate. You look, though, at our winners, just to point out, Dawson is 38th. He's a winner. Zabo, he's a winner. He's in 36th. Um... The 21's a winner. So, I mean, just don't like people like those guys. Kevin Williamson, I believe, is a winner. So, look at that. So, we congratulate him. Joseph Lombard, how about this? Points leader. That's, that's right. Joseph Lombard is up by 50 points over Garrett Smith. I mean, our Greg Smith, Christopher Harley. Sean Rodney, I Love Whoppers, Jeff Hogan, Timmy Moore, Jason Glazier, Timmy Eric Gaming Smith. So as we look also back at the standings, point out Joseph Lombard, he has two top fives. I said his first top five. I did not mean that. Look, this 30 car has a win. Timmy Moore has a top five. Um, Glazier has his first win of the year. Um, Eric Zabo has a win. But you look at all the people that won a race, notice that no one's up there. So it's about best to finish. That's a thing. You see, look, at Kevin Williamson. I have a win. Um, Trent, Trent Dunham has a win, I believe. Oh, no, Trent Dunham has a pole, sorry. Um, Eric Zabo has a win. And that's it. So he's the lowest winner. Of the year. We're still yet to get a repeat winner though guys. So that's going to be a big thing. Is next week when we go into Bristol. Could we get our first repeat winner. And I will see you guys. In a couple of days. In the next race.